Tamsin and today I'm going to be talking about the fire of London and about how people found out about news more than 300 years ago. It's easy for us today. We can find out what's going on from buying a newspaper or watching television, listening to the radio, looking at news websites and we can phone and email and text each other. But most of these things hadn't been invented in 1666 when the fire happened. They did have sorts of newspapers or news sheets, but lots of people couldn't read, so they needed someone to read it to them, or better still, to sing it to them. And this is just what ballad sellers did. They'd sing the news from ballad sheets. These were pieces of paper with the news and other things written on in rhyme and they'd sing them to tunes that everyone would know. We'll sing some of those ballads about the fire now. They were written just after it had happened, so that everyone could hear the news. If you listen carefully, you should be able to hear where it started and some of the places where the fire went. A description of the dreadful fire, which happened in Pudding Lane, next beyond Fish Street Hill on the 2nd of September 1666, betwixt 12 and 1 of the clock in the morning, being Sunday, and continued until the Thursday night following. Old London, that a thousand years The teeth of time could never waste now to our misery appears In five days space tis burnt as lost Waste lie those walls that were so good And cinders lie where London stood The second of September At the dismal hours twixt twelve and one At midnight up the fire did get in Pudding Lane and brightly shone Our engines all could do no good And ashes lie where London stood Fire swallowed Fish Street Hill And straight it licked up Lombard Street Down Cannon Street in blazing state It flew with flaming feet down to the Thames whose shrinking stream began to ebb away As thinking that the power of fate had brought the latter day With hand and feet in every street They pack up goods and fly Pitch tar and oil increase the spoil Old Fish Street begins to fry Out of the shops the goods are tain And hail from every shelf As in a shipwreck Every man begins to help himself The fire so hot as strength hath got No water can prevail A hundred ton were it poured on Would prove but like a pail Sick souls and lame all fly the same Women with child we know Are forced to run The fire to shun Have not a day could go Cradles were rocked in every field And food was all their cry Till the king's kitchen bread did yield And sent them a supply A father he of his country Himself did sweetly show Both day and night with all his might He sought to ease our woe The king himself in person there was And the Duke of York and likewise Many a noble peer assisted in the work To quell the ire of this wild fire Whose army was so high And did invade so that it made Ten hundred thousand fly From Sunday morn till Thursday night It roared about the town There was no way to quell its might 
but to pull whole houses down and so they did as they were bid by charles his great command the duke of york some say did work with bucket in his hand at temple church and holborn bridge and by corner tis drenched the water did the fire besiege at alders gate it quenched at cripple gate though very late and eek at coleman street at basing hall the fire did fall we all were joyed to see it bishop's gate street to cornhill end and leaden hill secure it to the postum did extend fair church doth still endure cloth workers all did ruined fall yet stopped the fire's haste Mark Lane Tower Dock did stand the shock, and all is quenched at last.